evening. I want to show you something a little bit clever. What we got here? We've got an LED, an LED, a row of magnets, a row of zinc, a row of bits of paper, and some copper, and a final magnet over there, and an AVO. No trickery. We're on a wooden desk on a wooden floor. It's just a piece of aluminium, a piece of copper, and some bits and bobs. So if you can follow me, I'm going to pick up a magnet, pick up a piece of copper, like so. Pick up a bit of paper, and do that. Bit of zinc, like so. And a magnet. No more than that. Okay. Again, another bit of copper. Another bit of paper, whoops. Another bit of paper. Another bit of material. Another magnet. Well done. There. So, what was that? A minute and a half, including faults. Let's see what happens when we put an LED on it. Okay. Don't tell me you can't get it to work. Let's take something with a bit more warmth in it, shall we? There you go. So how much voltage is coming out of this? I'm going to put it in there. Move the AVO in. See whether it says a plus or minus. And there you go. I would say I've got three volts there. Or a fraction under. 2.9, in fact, 3.3 volts, 3.4. So 3.4 volts out of six half a millimetre magnets, a bit of paper and a bit of copper. No trickery whatsoever. Now you're going to say that they're batteries. Well, they can't be batteries because you've seen them ping across the floor. And what else I've got here, let me just turn the light off. I've got another little toy here. This is a magnetic viewing device. And you should see... Lo and behold, the magnetic fields are building. And if you move it nice and close for you, you should be able to see all the magnetic fields on a magnet. Okay? So please do not tell me that this is a battery, or it's got a penny battery, or it's got electricity. It's got nothing. It's got ion transfer between the magnetic fields in there. Not rocket science, it's called clever science. It's not voodoo, it's called can-do. It's not witchcraft, it's goddamn art. Now, let's have a little bit more fun, shall we? Let's get rid of the cables for you. Here's a little one that I built earlier on, okay? If I take an LED and one of these... Oops, back front, try again. Watch, I am part of the circuit. You can't do that with electricity. It doesn't work. That would give you a goddamn heart failure, okay? So what we got being banged out of this little baby? Let's have a look, put some lights on just so you can see. Take the probes, one, got another one somewhere, I'm trying to do this. Uh, all the way down there on the floor. It's always good to do it live so no one can turn around and say it was all faked. And straight across there, dink, to there. And it's off the scale at 20 volts. Let's go up to 200 volts just to make sure you can see it. So 200 volts, same device, 25 volts, give or take a little bit, 25 volts. So that's 25 volts in something smaller than a cigarette. Now, that means 10 cigarettes is 250 volts. That means a box of cigarettes is 500 goddamn volts. That's enough to run a house. And you want to know whether this one's got any magnets, any batteries in it as well. No, it's not. It's exactly the same construct. And prove a point, we'll stick them on the little one. And we'll just stick them on the end like that. It's all the same material. And when we put it over here, on the magneto viewing device, lo and behold, you can see it's just one great big magnet. Okay?
I hope you enjoyed that and I hope it upsets an awful lot of oil companies, an awful lot of electricity companies and an awful lot of banks because you can't charge for something you can't meter. People buy this for a handful of dollars, they pay your tax. It's the last time you will get tax off the human race, especially in the electrical world. Thank you very much.